How's it going guys, Josh here, AKA Olufemi, and I'm gonna address an issue that I feel like all video editors have to deal with. Say you need to edit a one minute video, but the song that you wanna use underneath it is three minutes. What do you do? Well, you have a few options. You can either try to cut a portion of the song out, line up the beginning of the song to the beginning of the video, and then line up the end of the song to the end of the video, and then pray that where both ends stretch to in the middle, actually creates a decent sounding transition. Or you can put the beginning of the song at the beginning of the video again, and then stretch the song all the way to where the video ends, and then fade out, and then pray that that fade out actually sounds good. These of course are subpar options, and most of us people in video production are not music producers, and we don't know how to create a track completely from scratch. So luckily for us, Adobe has a solution. It's called Remix inside Adobe Audition. The song that we're gonna use is from musicbed.com. Now I've been a big fan of musicbed.com for a while. I feel like that they have the best royalty-free library on the internet. My biggest gripe with them over the years has been their price. They have at the same time probably been the most expensive royalty-free music site on the internet. and that is what makes this new subscription model that they're beginning to implement even more exciting. Instead of paying $200 to $1,000 per song, you have the option of only paying $10 per month and having unlimited downloads to their entire membership music library. I think it's a pretty good deal. I'm a member now. I think you should try it out. You can check it out in the link below. I'm in the library right now and I'm going to pick this song that I like called Up For Anything. Thanks. I'm now in Audition, I'm gonna go to the Multi-Track tab. I'm gonna create a new Multi-Track session. I'm gonna name it Music Test. You can name it absolutely anything that you want. I'm gonna click OK. I'm then going to import my music that I just downloaded, called Up For Anything. I'm gonna open it. And now I'm gonna drag the music down into track one. I'm gonna play through the song so you can hear it. Starts off kind of slow, keeps building up. Drops right there, sounds awesome, keeps going. Keeps going, then it passes three minutes. And then it finally ends after three minutes. It's an amazing song, but the issue is it's three minutes long and my video edit is only a minute. So what do I do? I remix it. This is how you do that. You're gonna go into the Essential Sounds tab this tab isn't there, go to Window and make sure that Essential Sounds is checked. Then you're gonna go to Music, and then you're gonna go to Duration, you're gonna click on Duration, and then you're gonna click on Remix. You're gonna spend a few seconds making sure that Audition is able to analyze the clip. All right, now if you go to Target, you can actually tell Audition the target length of the song that you want it to be. I'm gonna do one minute. I'm gonna change all these to zeros. So it's exactly one minute. I'm gonna press enter. And instantly, the song is transformed to be one minute. From here to here is approximately one minute. Let's play through it again. Take note where the squiggly lines are are actually edit points where it transitions to another part of the song that Audition has cut to using an algorithm to make sure that the transition sounds perfect. Keeps going on, keeps going on. You can hear that transition a little bit right there. But what do you get? You have a perfect ending right at a minute and I would say that is a pretty good attempt at making a three minute song sound like a one minute song. It's amazing what technology can do these days. So you can change this target to basically any length that you want. Um, the song is three minutes, you can make it anything less than three minutes, but the cool thing is you can actually make it over the original length of the song as well. So if I made it five minutes, what Audition would do is Audition would actually duplicate portions of the song so that it would actually extend the total length of the song from three minutes to five minutes. It's really cool. So what we want to do is we want to actually go into an advanced feature of the remix option. So what we want to do is we want to actually go and give ourselves a little bit more control. So we're going to jump over here to this properties tab. Inside the properties tab, you have a remix drop down that you can drop into. 
and you can go into advanced. As you can see, target duration, one minute, mirrors this one right here, it's the exact same thing. But we're gonna drop down and actually talk about these four different additional elements that we can use to actually change this effect up. So first thing that you can do is you can go to edit length. So what you have is you have two extremes. If you bring it over to this side, you have the option of having less cuts and more distance in between each of these transition or cuts, whatever you wanna call them. If you bring it over to this side, you have shorter distances between each transition and you have more of these cuts or transitions, whatever you wanna call them. Features, this one is more talking about how Adobe chooses the transition points. And you have one extreme, which is timber, which basically tells addition to transition based on the beat of the song. And then you have harmonic, and it basically gives addition the permission to use more of the harmonic characteristics of the song when choosing the transition points. Over here is the minimum loop. This basically tells Adobe the minimum amount of beats that you have to have before you go to the next transition. So, so if you want the transitions to be really far apart, then you can have um, 64 beats be the minimum loop length. If you want the transitions to be closer together, you can have something like two beats to be the uh, minimum loop length. And the last option is called maximum slack. It's basically telling Audition the amount of leeway that it has to stray away from your original target length. So it's at five seconds. So my song can either be um, one minute, five seconds or 55 seconds. The more slack that you give Audition, the better remix it's able to make because it's less constrained. So what I want you to do is I want you with your own music to play around with this. It may take a few different tweaks to make sure that your edit is perfect, but once you get it perfect, you're going to be able to export it out and bring it back into Premiere. So what you do is you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Export. You're then going to say Export to Premiere Pro. And you're going to choose the name. We'll just leave this name right here. And then we're going to go to Export. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna choose the Premiere project that we wanna open it in. Let's go into OFV Tuts. Let's go into, say, my lens distortion tutorial. Let's open that up. Copy Adobe Edition tracks. We're gonna say yes. And as you can see, these are all my other clips. Don't worry about that. But as you can see, this is the new track from Adobe Edition that we brought in. It includes its own sequence. And as you can see, within that sequence is track one. The track that is now one minute long is now within Premiere. It's that easy. Guys, you made it to the end of the video. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and then click on the notification bell so you're notified next time I drop a vid. Guys, if you want to support the channel, please check out one of my sponsors, Envato Elements. They literally give you hundreds of thousands of VFX packs for only $33 a month. It's something that I personally call the Netflix of video production. You can check out my personal website and check out my newest lens distortion tool that I call Femi Filters. It'll make your footage look incredible, I promise. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching as always and remember to keep it chill.